it's Greg from Vanguard Motor Sales. Today we're going to be showing you a 1968 Camaro big block four-speed car. Hey, we're coming to you from the Motor City here, more specifically Plymouth, Michigan. We're here in our showroom. We've got a lot of our favorite cars right here in the showroom. We've got a uh, 57 Chev convertible here. It's got a tune port motor in it. Rotisserie restored 1969 GT500. Absolutely beautiful. 74 Trans Am Resto Mod and a 68 convertible Camaro Resto Mod. If you want to come down here and visit us, we've got 30,000 square feet of indoor storage and over 100 cars for sale here. We're only about 20 minutes from Detroit Metro Airport. If you want to visit us, fly in, give us a call at 248-974. 9513. We'll come down to the airport, we'll pick you up, we'll show off all our cars to you, and if you need a ride back to the airport, we'll take you right back. Let's go back and take a look. So this is one of our showrooms. Uh, this one's 20,000 square feet. Uh, like I said, we've got over 100 cars in stock. I've got 10,000 feet of storage right down the street here. This is where we check out all the cars, clean them all up, um, I've got five full-time mechanics here looking these things over from top to bottom so we can let you know exactly what's going on with them when you give us a call. Uh, we're not a consignment dealer. We own every one of these. We have a clean and free title for every one of them. So just give us a holler. We'll take care of you real good. Come on out. Let's take a look. All right, we're out here with this 68 Camaro now. This thing is hot. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful color of red, black racing stripes on it. It's got a big block, four speed, bucket seats, everything you need in a Camaro. Hey, if you're catching us on YouTube, go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We're going to put this up on the left. We're going to take about 100 pictures of it so you can know exactly what's going on with this car when you make your muscle car purchase. Also, download the seven deadliest mistakes to buying a muscle car online at classiccarbuyingsecrets.com. We're doing this video for you today so you can make a good choice on your muscle car investment. So come on up, let's take a look. Take a look at the beautiful paint on this thing. It is straight as an arrow. Look at the way the door fits to the fender there. They did a beautiful job fitting all this stuff. Normally on these Camaros, it was really ugly in here. They did an awesome job fitting this thing. Nice and flush here. The doors operate nice. The lips look good. The jams look great. Let me grab the keys and we'll pop open the trunk. Quarters are beautiful. Stainless looks good. Stainless around the back window is beautiful. Got some good looking stripes on the deck lid here. So we've got a fuel tank here. It's got a bottom sump in it. The battery's in the trunk. We've got the electrical shut off right outside here. New rubber on the trunk. Paint job on the underneath side looks great. Look down the side of this thing, it is straight as an arrow. Look at the way that door fits, it's beautiful. Very nice. Operates great, the door lips are beautiful. Like I said earlier at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. We lay out our money, so you can bet we check these things out before we lay out our money. And then when we get them back here, we check them out even further. So give us a call at 248 974 9513 and we'll let you know exactly what's going on with these cars. Take a look at the interior. Beautiful door panel here. Armrest looks good. The seats are beautiful. Dash pads in great shape. All the chrome looks good. All the trim looks good. Back seat looks great. The headliner's in great shape. Dome lights even working in this car. All the rubber's in good shape.
All right, now we're underneath this 68 Camaro. It's got a lot of hot rod parts underneath there. Check out that three inch exhaust. It's got the uh, cast aluminum um, extra help rear end cover here. It's a uh, 12 volt. Those, uh, those adjust down onto the uh, bearing caps, giving a little more strength in there. Um, it's got about a 373 gear in it. I just rotated the wheels and counted it. Definitely a posi. Um, got some newer shocks. They actually uh, put a cross member in, put both the shocks in the back on this thing. Uh, they've cut some holes in the um, trunk there so you can access the top of the shock. It's got a, uh, these are slapper bars, but they got them locked right down so you can get some good traction on this thing. Um, we've got uh, the fuel lines running here. This line here is the fuel line. They've insulated it so that the exhaust doesn't heat it up. You see they've wrapped the exhaust too, trying to keep some of the heat out of the trunk. The frame looks awesome. I mean, it is, it's painted real nice. I always stick a finger in one of these and make sure the inside feels good. Feels great. Um, floorboards are beautiful. I don't see any evidence of them ever being replaced. Um, real nice and solid. Now we do have a patch right here on this side and it's actually uh, looks like they've used some um, self-drilling screws to put it in. Actually it looks like some welds here. Real nice. It fits in there real nice. Looks like both sides. Real nice job doing it. They've uh, cleaned up the edges real nice. It's all screwed down. Looks beautiful. And again, everything under here is painted. It's super clean. I mean, look at that. Clean hands. Uh, brand new drive shaft, and it's got a big old drive shaft loop on it. Got a Muncie four speed in this thing. Uh, they've got O2 sensors here in the headers. So you can check your air fuel mixtures. There's a little uh, meter. It's in the glove box, I believe. Uh, we got disc brakes up front. Uh, steering gear's all in good shape. It's got a great big deep sump pan on it. Looks like all the bushings have been replaced on this thing. Looks like they've reinforced the uh, bolt holes here in the front cross member. All new bushings on the sway bar also. The inner fenders are all painted, all brand new bolts. The front frame horns here look like they've never been hurt. Uh, definitely never been in a front end accident. If it was, these things would be all twisted up. They're nice and straight. Motor's really nice and clean. Real good looking motor underneath. Uh, core support, that's another problem area on these things. This thing's beautiful. Nice and solid. That front valance, they did a nice job painting it up. I always know when a valance is painted that well. You know, whoever did this car cared enough to carry a beautiful paint job all the way down and underneath the car. You know, they really cared about their workmanship on it. Well, let's lower the, well, let's take a look at the wheels and tires where we still got it up. So we got some uh, weld wheels here. These are the lightweights. Um, polished up great. They've, somebody's put a lot of elbow grease in these things, getting them polished. I got BF Goodrich's up front, 205-60-15s, and you can really see that wheel well, how everything's nice and clean. And we'll, we'll walk down this rocker here. Everything, the bottom side of the rocker is beautiful, nice and solid. Just a gorgeous car. And we got some uh, BF Goodrich drag radials on the back. They're comp TAs. Uh, looking for the size here. And I'm not finding that. Maybe it's on the other side. Well, Aubrey just found the size. It's down here. It's uh, 275.50.15s. Um, a lot of great traction these things got. Uh, bottom side of the uh, quarters is beautiful. It's a gorgeous car. Well, let's lower this thing down and take a look at this uh, Ford Out 396. 
All right, I looked up the casting numbers on this thing, and this block was from 69 to 72, if my memory serves me right. Uh, it says it was a 396, 402, and 454 block. Um, the guys we bought it from tell me that when they built it, it was a, a 396. They bored it 60 over, and they're calling it a 409 now. Um, it's got some. Uh, it's got cast heads on it, so uh, those aren't aluminum. That definitely steel heads on it. That's just painted aluminum. We do have a Edelbrock Performer intake on this thing, so it's a dual plane. We've got a Holly with uh, vacuum secondaries. Uh, it's a dual feed single pumper. Um, looks like it's got a manual choke on it. Got a Mallory distributor back there and an MSD box telling it what to do. Uh, got a Holly fuel pump down there. Got a really nice looking uh, chrome water pump, chrome pulley, chrome uh, timing cover, chrome bracket there for the alternator. Good looking valve covers on this thing. Now this is a line lock. For you guys that don't know what that is, that locks up the brakes on the front if you want to do a big old burnout. And then this is a proportioning valve that controls how much fluid goes to the back brakes so that you can adjust them so you can get a real nice good stop on these things. All right, all the hoses look good. The belts look great. Um, fuel line looks good. We've got a um, metal fuel filter right here. I've uh, got a gauge there to see how much uh, pressure we've got going in. Radiator's in good shape. It's got a, a, a cross flow radiator in it. Real good looking car under the hood. Firewalls painted nice. Inner fenders are painted nice. All these little bolts here, they've actually uh, got some steel on the back side of this, um, those flaps there that's holding that up. Really sharp looking car under the hood. It's a Camaro, guys, and it's got a big block in it. It's not going to last long in our shop, so give us a call at 248 974 9513. Tom's going to sell this one quick. Give him a call. Alright, let's take this Camaro for a ride. Love these four speeds. We've got um, the speedo working, windshield wipers working, it's got an aftermarket radio in it. Doesn't look like the heat's hooked up on this thing. We've got oil pressure, water temp, volts, vacuum gauge, and then these switches are for the um, line lock. The Vanguard Motor Sales were shipping experts. We can ship this thing anywhere in the United States or out of the United States. Just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Also, go to our website at VanguardMotorSales.com. There's a button there. It says Facebook on it. It's a big blue button right in the middle. Hit that button. It'll take you right to our Facebook page. You don't have to know anything about Facebook. You don't have to join. It'll show you all of our latest inventory. And if you do belong to Facebook or want to join Facebook and like us, you'll get all of our latest inventory the minute we get it, up to two weeks before we offer it to the general public. Because we always bring these cars back, get them all checked out. We're here on Keel Street, Plymouth, Michigan. Our address is 15100 Keel Street, Plymouth, Michigan. I think drives awesome, goes around these curves nice. Check out the brakes here. No hands on the brakes. Stops nice and straight. Goes through the gears nice. Here's our shop coming up on the right. Looks like we got a uh, 70 Mustang convertible, 66 Mustang coupe. And there's a beautiful blue 70 Chevelle. So let Vanguard Motor Sales put your dream in your driveway.